what's up guys welcome back to part two of bath and body works fragrance <laughs> video so my dumb behind forgot my fall and winter scents i thought they were here but they're here and they was hidden behind my um shower gels well my cocoa shea shower gel so i didn't see it in my own bubble bath so i didn't see it behind there so i do have more um body mist like yeah and i found sorry i found some more fragrance mist that i missed um in the last video so whatever you yeah I'm water room. I am. And I have so many freaking mess that I have to like declutter for real, for real. So in my last video, I had mentioned um, Sunkiss. This is not a duplicate. I only have one of these, okay? So the, the Victoria's Secret spray I was referenced was the Capri Lemon Leaves. So like these at the beach and in the sun they're like in the same family so that's what i was saying about it smelled like something that i already had too so these kind of smell like something but they really smell like beach scent like you're at the beach you use a suntan lotion and then you it's mixed with the salt water and, and the sun and it has like the combination books of all of these okay so that was my reference to the victoria's secret um miss so now on the floor these are the ones i found and some of these were the ones i was decluttering that i already had set aside to another bin so i'm going to show you the ones that i'm not decluttering so i do have snowy morning so that's a keeper and this was the end of stars that I'm using is down here. Like I told you, I love that scent. So this was in my bag. I also have um, Be Joyful. And I had this for a while too. I do like it. This is not like, this is a year round scent because it's a sweet like berry scent. So I have Be Joyful. I also have Merry Marshmallow Kiss. And this one, I've been using this too. It's, it does have a marshmallow, like sweet berry scent. So that was something that is very nice. Merry Marshmallow Kiss. Um, I have Perfect Autumn Day. I had got this one off of Macari because I think um, somebody on YouTube said this was like the favorite of theirs. So I was like, let me find it and try it out. So it's really nice. I haven't really been into it, but not yet, but I will be. I also have Pumpkin Cupcake. This is my first bottle. And I think it's the original bottle that I had. No, I didn't, I used that one. So this is like my second bottle that I'm using. So um, I do have another one of those. I also have a cup of warmth, which is just like in a sens the um, sensual amber family. Um, it doesn't have notes on it, but it smells like it's in that family because it's like a um, cashmere amber scent, like a warm scent. So this is something that you can use year round. I mean, they probably have a little vanilla in it, but I really like this one too. And this was the um, Bonfire Basher I'm currently using. This is not Bath and Body Right, but this is Tommy Bahama. I don't know. I think I took it from up there. I also have Whipped Vanilla Spice. This came out with the collection. Um, my favorite out of this collection was um, Chris Autumn Leaves or something like that in the green bottle. That was my favorite. I see it on Macari, but it's like $20. I don't know if I want to do that, but this is a nice little vanilla scent too. This was one that I got over, over the summer. And it was, I had bought two, but that was the package that got stolen. And it had the um, shower gel, a backup shower gel lotion. But I still have a lotion and shower gel, but hey. 
this is a very nice scent it is in the family of the champagne toast um just the berry scent is very pretty very sweet and this is very dusty <laughs> but yeah so i've been using that one too it was up there on my shelf also hello sunshine is something that i've been using for years i love this scent very beautiful scent um it's just like i don't know the citrus in it is very pretty it lasts all day so i still have the lotion to it and it's a very nice summer scent but with me i use my scents year round doesn't matter what's in what's not so i also still have love 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 and i have it right here i also have the perfume to it which is a whale up there so i'm just using it sparingly but eventually i'm gonna use it up but the bottle is pretty you know i love my purples my pinks so yeah and this is a sweet scent too so yeah and this i've been using i'm already finished with the body cream i love this scent i love the body cream the most i do have two lotions in my stash so this is cocoa um christmas cocoa mint very nice i i like this even better than the um what is it the coconut mint drop or something like that i like this way better and the peppermint in this or the mint in this is like so calming so soothing and just so nice and this is very strong too but it doesn't last all day but with me i take my sprays with me the one that i'm using and i just reapply throughout the day i also have wow blueberry this is a nice scent I think this was my favorite out of that collection. Dusty too. But um, it's very nice blueberry scent. So I think it was like the best blueberry scent they came out with thus far. In my opinion. In my opinion. And this was my second soak, um, soak in the sun that I was um, going to put on my Makari. I also still have uh, wrapped in sugar. I have the lotion to it too. This is a nice little coconut scent, but to me it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. I know I remember when it came out the first SAS and I just stocked up on it and I ended up selling all of those, but this was the last one and I was going to gift it or sell it too, so it wasn't my fave. And from the Tutti Dolce line, I still have the White Mocha Kiss and the Golden Honey Praline. Not really my favorites. Um, May, you may see this on Makari. Um, just not really feeling it. I never really was a fan. Even a beach night summer marshmallows. Sorry guys, I'm not really a fan of that either. But yeah, I have those two. And I have the bright lemons. Um, what is it? Snowdrop. I think I have this one to sell, and I think I have one left in my collection. Not sure. We'll get to that when we get over here. But this is a nice lemon scent. I thought it would have been close to the Tutti Dolce Sweet Lemon um, Buttercup, but it's not. It's not, not even close. Not even in the family. I also have Winter Candy Apple. Never been a fan, but always bought it and I don't know why. But yeah, never been a fan. This I bought twice <laughs> and I'm trying to get rid of it. Sunset Glow. This is the one that has the uh, fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy uh, moonflower, and caramel, caramelized vanilla. I don't smell none of that. So I don't know if it's just me or my, with my pH balance mixture. I, I just wasn't a fan. And this was the other pink tie-dye that I was talking about that I was disappointed in this scent because I just thought it was going to be like a rainbow of Skittles and it's not so yeah and when i was trying to compare denim and daisies i was trying to think of picnic summer daisies so i don't know if i should keep this one and get rid of this one because i'm not sure they're not really sisters because this is sweet daisy sun washed denim and summer citrus this is crisp pear summer daisy honeysuckle and fresh nectarine so this one smells a little better this one is okay i don't like the sprayer on it but the bottle is pretty with the glittery top so yeah but i don't know I'm, i'll think about that and then i had got the, the sparkling peach peach sangria 
So this smells nothing like my white peach sangria, which is here. They smell nothing alike. And I thought it was going to be like a remake of this one, but it's not. So I was disappointed in this one. But it smells good, but I don't know. I don't know about that one yet. Now, moving to the fall and winter scents that I forgot. So, I still have the throwback uh, vanilla bean Noel in this packaging from, I don't know if this was the first collection that it came out in, but I had it for that long. I also have this with the coconut mint drop that I was trying to compare to this. This one is stronger. This one is a little lighter. And this was like, I don't know if this is the original bottle, but I got it years ago. And yeah. So I also have the fresh uh, Frosted Holly. I've been trying to get into this scent. Um, I was using the body cream. It's really a nice scent, but I don't know yet. I don't know. And I also have the Raspberry Jam Donut. This is a nice bakery scent. Haven't really used any of my bakery scents. Maybe I'm not a gourmet gourmet person after all. I don't know. And, oh, I have another Chris Sugar Cherry Chris. So this is going to go into the cell. Because I don't need I don't need to if I'm not feeling it. I have Dream in the Sky, which is a nice vanilla scent. I also have Gingerbread Latte from the original Gingerbread, I mean the original collection. So I have those still. Um, I do still have a snowy citrus swirl. I really like this scent. Very nice um, citrus scent. So use this year round. I have winter one winter berry wonder. And I like this one and I think I have a backup in another packaging. So maybe I can keep this out and start using it because it's a fruity scent. It's not really um for the winter in my eyes. A sugar plum swirl, frosted snow blossom. So I haven't really been using none of these, to tell you the truth. But that was the collection. And I think it had I had something else in that collection. But I probably sold it. Uh, that's my other coconut, I mean, Christmas cocoa mints. I also have a snowy peach berry. And this is a nice scent too. I think I, oh, the car um, scent is very nice. And it was very strong. But they don't last long. But I really liked it in the car scent. Car portable. I also have, well, this is the other Winterberry Wonder. This is, oh, and I have another scent of blueberry shortbread. Shortbread. Why do I have two? This probably gonna go into the cell bin too. Yeah. And I have another bright lemon snowdrop and the Christmas cookies that came out in this collection. So one of these gonna have to go. And that's the Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies smell okay. I don't really see all the hype about it. When it first came out, it was like a a big hype. I mean, it smells like cookies, or it smells like, like the shortbread, but it's cookies, but it's good, it's good. I also got the coconut cream pie and the chocolate covered cherries. Like out of this collection, the chocolate covered cherries was my favorite, surprisingly. So, yes. I have Mary Cherry Cheer. The hand soap in this that I had used was phenomenal. It was beautiful. It's still in the bathroom. I haven't finished it. And it's like so many compliments on this scent in the um the hand soap. So this smells good too. It's a year-round scent for me because it's cherry. It's not like it's sweet. So it's not like you have to use it here in the winter even though florida has no winter i do have marshmallow pumpkin latte 
I don't I think I bought this over the summer yes I really like it a little for fall I'm not really a fanatic about it it took some getting used to but it's not that bad of a scent so I like it in that packaging and in that one the other ones that I had tried were a little too much for me I do have um, Vanilla Mocha Cafe, and this is nice, and I think I should take this to work. So when I don't have my coffee, I can spray this and act like I have some. And I also have white pumpkin and chai. This smells nice too. So I do have those pumpkin scents, and then I also have another Snowy Citrus Swirl. And another strawberry pound cake full bottle. I don't think I'm buying any more strawberry pound cake after I use this bottle, which is the backup. And the last four are my, um, I guess, throwback pumpkin collection. So this was sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And this was the salted caramel pumpkin. And also... I have the pumpkin apple cider and the pumpkin cupcake. So I guess these three were the in the it crew. So this was the crew. So I have those. Those was like the fall scent. I always try to include them in fall and it just never worked out. And sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It smells really good. I really like sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I don't buy it every year, so I did I'm lying but I sold the other one but I kept this one because I want to use one up and that'll be this one so that is the completion of my fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works that's it's it that is all I have no more laying around that I know of I have no more and I'm looking around to see. I have only my minis and they don't really count for, to me, as like my big fragrance mist. So. But that is it. That is all. That is all I have for you today. And I thank you for tuning in. Okay? <laughs> so guys, thank you again for watching this video. This was part two. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And you've seen all of my Bath and Body Works fragrance mist in completion now. And when I do an updated one sometime in 2022 of what I have left, then um, I'm going to give you that update because I'm tired of moving and hauling all this heavy, heavy, heavy fragrance mist. Because your Bath and Body Works collection is heavy. It's heavy. It really is. And it's a lot to carry. Whew. But again, guys, I thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for watching this video. And if nobody told you today that they love you, just know that I love you from the bottom of my heart and forever and ever. And I will see you guys in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to see you in it. But all right, guys. Peace out.